the Commonwealth Games 2010. A matter of pride and honour for India. All eyes were set on the national capital for this grand sporting event. The Commonwealth Games raised expectations worldwide and India's reputation was at stake. To host an event of such magnitude needed courage, team effort and resources. This was also to be the acid test for the nation's capital, Delhi. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, Delhi has grown many-fold during the past decade. In recent times, numerous efforts have been put in to control the growing air pollution problem in Delhi. Policies were formulated to protect the green cover. With an alarming increase in the number of vehicles plying on the roads, Metro Rail was introduced as a faster and lesser polluting alternative to the growing traffic congestion. With these efforts for the capital city's overall development, soon Delhi was revamped to become a world-class metro, ready to host one of the biggest sporting events in the world. One of the important official responsibilities of the Commonwealth Games Delhi 2010 is that it promises to be a green games with a commitment to ensure that the negative environment impact of the games was minimized and that they were completely consumption neutral. To show the world that India had a suitable environment comparable to the international standards, there was a need to assess the quality of the environment and to be able to produce quantitative data. We wanted to provide the forecast, now casting what we called the next 6 to 12 hours, so that the preparation can be planned accordingly. Typically, the city environment contains a number of pollutants like ozone, oxides of nitrogen, carbon monoxide, suspended particulate matters, black carbon and benzene. However, to understand the immediate health hazard and to take suitable systematic measures, one needed to know the current level of air quality and its future projections well in advance at different locations around the Commonwealth Games area. The technology for this, of course, has been known to scientists for a while now. But what we actually did for these games was that we set up monitoring systems in various locations of Delhi so that we could gather data from areas which are near various stadia. Despite stiff competition from other multinational agencies experienced in this kind of precise monitoring, it was the Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology, Pune, which was eventually given the task of setting up this project from ground up. We thought because we had the right background, to, we had the chemical transport modeling uh, expertise, as well as we were already planning to put a lot of uh, sensors in the southern India, in our around Pune, to develop uh, it, uh, a prediction system. We chose IITM because IITM has been doing this work and uh, for quite some time and uh, they have demonstrated their uh, capability of giving air quality forecast in earlier years. While we were doing, we had to go through a good deal of uh, uh, resistance to do it ourselves. There are within the country, they were willing to give contract to a foreigner, com foreign company to do this job. In fact, and uh, we were kind of sort of uh, uh, we said that you, you, you do whatever you do, we are going to give this contract to a foreign company. But we said, and our ministry took a very strong stand saying that, no, we'll do it ourselves and demonstrate that uh, we can do it uh, competently. And we actually did it. And uh, I think we did better than them. To fulfill the above critical objective during this event, System of Air Pollution Forecasting and Research, SUFFER 2010, was proposed to be built up. Using wireless LCD display panels, the system was to display the current level of air quality as well as the forecasted level, 24 hours in advance, at various key locations of the Commonwealth Games. This system would greatly help in formulating a better air quality management system. With this ambitious project, a system for air quality forecasting was conceived for the first time in India, and New Delhi became the first city in the country to be able to provide a 24 to 48 hour advance forecast. This initiative made India one of the few developing nations to have taken a giant leap in this particular area of environmental research. The Indian Institute of Tropical Metallurgy is involved in atmospheric chemistry transport modeling, which is the one basically the backbone of air quality forecasting system. It's having expertise for last 10 to 15 years and we have been doing it uh, for the scientific uh, work and hence uh, we found there was a need that we can build an in-house capability 
and uh, develop a system of air quality forecasting. The Air Quality Index or the AQI is the new public information tool that helps protect public health on a daily basis from the negative effects of air pollution. The Air Quality Index is a scale designed to help the general public understand what the air quality around them means to their health. Scientists of the Ministry of Earth Science define the breakpoints and applying the mathematical formulations define the concepts of AQI for India which facilitated easy communication with common audience. To calculate AQI, SUFFER uses a system which comprises of five stages. First, defining concept of air quality index for India. The air quality is defined in four broad ranges starting from good, moderate, poor and very poor. Air quality monitoring stations AQMS. A network of 11 AQMS to provide near real-time air quality information covering majority of the games venue was established. The monitoring station is a one-room facility which is equipped with several automatic air quality analyzers to measure the above-mentioned pollutants. In addition, automatic weather stations AWS, record parameters like temperature, pressure, wind speed, wind direction, rainfall, radiation, heat and humidity. The 3D atmospheric chemistry transport forecasting modeling coupled with weather forecasting model to provide a 24 to 48 hour advance forecast of air pollutant levels. Display the information on LED and LCD screens and displaying the online detail information through the web portal. If Emission inventory is a comprehensive listing of the amount of air pollutants released into the air by a particular process in a specified geographical region during a specified time period. Quality of forecasting depends on the accuracy and reliability of the emission estimation. Emission inventories could also be used for the air quality management and formulating environmental policy. We felt there is a need to provide forecast at, at a much smaller scale and much shorter time of period. So this is what the we have said short range and now cast forecast where we provide forecast for every three hours period for different locations of the city and um, it gives much more accuracy and also it is able to, people are able to use it directly. SAFA displayed the current and forecasted air quality information at various key locations of the Commonwealth Games 2010. Ten display panels were erected so that the people were aware of the current quality of air as well as the air quality in the immediate next hour. These wireless true color digital display panels updated the data every 30 minutes. The pollutant and weather related data from all stations are collected through GPRS network and stored in a centrally located control room. Once the near real time and forecasting data is checked for quality assurance, it is then transferred to the display server for converting to public friendly format in terms of air quality index. In addition, the current and forecasted AQI data of various venues are also made available online on the SAFA website specially developed and dedicated to this project. I think this has been a, a, a very important uh, achievement for us. It puts us actually in the world league. You know, in the very few places in this real-time prediction of pollution, which this kind of input has, is being done. So I think this, we have demonstrated that we can do it with competence. To bring awareness and to create a feeling of ownership to this project, Students of Delhi University are also encouraged by the administration to participate in this project and to learn and understand SAFAR. Dr. Beg and his team have been very keen on advocating the usage and expansion of this program for the benefit of the future generations. The students showed great enthusiasm in understanding the technology and its usage and were eager to utilize this knowledge in ensuring a green and clean tomorrow.